Today we are going to discuss about C4.5 exercise problem. So this is a very important question. So here given a data set, so we have a data set where it has 10 instances and 4 independent attributes that is assessment, assignment, project and seminar. So given this data set, we have to predict that whether uh, the student is going to pass or fail. So the prediction is the, uh, the target attribute that is the target variable is the result here. So we have to predict whether the student uh, belongs to pass class or the fail class. So here given like this first step is what in C4.5 we have to calculate the entropy. Okay. Then we have to calculate the gain. Then the additional thing is the split ratio. The split ratio is not there in ID3 but here in C4.5 we have to compute the split ratio. Okay, split ratio is equal to entropy by gain. Now we will see how to compute this. So among all this here, uh, whichever uh, node has the maximum uh, split ratio, that will be chosen as a root node for, for, for further pruning. Okay guys, so that is what we are going to follow here. So here first in the variable result, result is the target variable. Given this, count how many pass and fail instances are present in this. So here if you observe, we have pass, uh, instance 1 is pass and instance 3 is pass and 5, 6 and uh, 7, 10. All these are pass classes and the remaining 4 that is fail are 8, 9, 4 and 2. Okay. So instances, see here if you observe the instances 2, 4, 8 and 9 they are fail uh, class so now we have to find how many in order to compute the entropy of this uh, sample data set we have to identify how many positive instances are there and how many negative instances are there from this we have computed that we have six positive instances and four negative instances that is six pass and four negative that is four fail ca classes we have Okay, guys. So, with this, we try to compute the entropy like how we did for ID3. The same way we are going to do for uh, this one. How many? 6. Fail is 4. Okay. Fail is 4. Totally 10 instances. So, we are computing the entropy of 6, 4, which is nothing but minus P1 log P1. That formula we are applying here, entropy formula. So, minus 6 by 10 log 6 by 10. Positive instances sum of positive instances plus negative instances we take and similarly 4 by 10 log 4 by 10 so you compute the entropy you will get entropy as 0 0.97 okay guys so this is the overall entropy of the tree that is 0 0.97 next for each of the attribute we should count how many pass and fail instances are there for each of the attribute so to find that go to the uh, question the sample data set what they have given and observe the attribute assessment okay in assessment we have three categories good average and poor so take those and find how many pass and fail are there so for that each of the attribute we have to compute the entropy now we'll go to our sample data set given and observe the assessment uh, column here guys so in the assessment column we have good average and poor so for this you count how many positive see the result column here and see good are how many good how many positive are there that is pass and for average how many pass and fail are there for poor how many pass and fail are there this we have to see from the table so here for each of the class average here you have sixth one pass and for average here for ninth attribute you have fail so like this, if we count the attributes, okay, so for this assessment, we have to count for each of the attribute, how many pass and fails are there. So just by counting how many we got, already I have written here. So here, for good we have 5 pass and for fail we have 0 and totally we have 5 instances of good attribute. Okay, similarly we calculate for average and for average you have one instance pass and fail is two and totally we have three instances for poor we have three poor 
pass fail is 2 and total we have 2 instances and we have to calculate the entropy here why we have taken entropy as 0 because all the 5 instances pass all belong to one class only all the 5 total we have 5 instances of good all belong to one class pass and fail class it is 0 so that is why the entropy is 0 so according to the rule if uh, all the instances belong to one say one same class means then the entropy will be 0 and observe average here you have 1 and 2 here so 1 and 2 means here they are not same or they are not belonging to one class so we have to find the entropy for this one and similarly if you observe poor all the totally you have two instances all the two instances belong to the class fail so the entropy should be 0 so that's why the entropy is 0 here and if you have 50 50 if two instances one belong to this and one belong to this means then the entropy would have been 1 but here all belong to the same instance fail so the entropy is 0 and compute the entropy for entropy assessment for the entropy for this assessment so when we compute the entropy for this assessment so here how do we compute the entropy for this one it's nothing but 5 by so totally 10 instances we have here so 5 by 10 log this row you should compute 5 by 10 log into 5 by 5 log 5 by 5 plus 0 by 5 log uh, 0 by 5 okay so like that if you compute for each of this okay you will get the entropy as 0 0.275 and calculate the gain so gain is equal to what overall entropy of the uh, sample data set that that is uh, 0.97 so 0.97 minus 0.25 entropy of this subsets what we have computed so here this is entropy or directly we have taken since we have 0 and 0 here in this entropy column if you observe we have 0 and 0 so directly we have taken the entropy as 0 0.275 okay 0 plus 0 plus 0 0.275 is nothing but 0 0.275 itself so you calculate the gain gain you will get 0.97 minus this so it is 0.695 similarly calculate the split ratio split ratio sum equal to i equal to 1 to n that is attributes divided by a of i divided by t log a of i divided by t so which is equal to how many instances of positive instances here we have 5 so minus 5 by 10 log 5 by 10 minus 3 instances are negative here 3 by 10 log 3 by 10 and here minus 2 instances minus 2 by 10 log 2 by 10 so if you compute like this you will get the split ratio so this is a formula for the split ratio t includes what total number of instances a means how many are positive or how many are negative so the other one is how many poor instances are there so that is what here how good average and poor for this we have calculated the split gain now what will be our gain ratio gain ratio is equal to entropy gain divided by split ratio so you will get the gain ratio as 0 0.0468 so this is for the assessment we have computed similarly for all the attributes you have to compute the same way just you take the attribute assignment in assignment you have two instances yes and no for this also identify see the result column in the data sample set given count how many pass and fail are there yes sir how many yes we have three yes and for yes attribute itself fail is also two we have so three plus two totally five instances similarly no how many we have three and two so totally we have five instances so we have to compute the entropy so we compute the entropy by substituting in the entropy formula like this so that is five by ten total instances these are totally five by ten into this row we should take that is minus 3 by 5 log 3 by 5 plus minus 2 by 5 this one 2 by 5 log 2 by 5 plus how many instances here no 5 5 by 10 into this row we should take minus 3 by 5 total instances log 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 log 2 by 5 so like this if you compute you will compute the entropy for assignment is it is 0 0.97 okay guys similarly calculate the gain ratio and split ratio so gain ratio is what 0 0.97 minus 0 0.097 so you will get the gain ratio as 0 split ratio so you will get split ratio as 1 here
So split ratio you will get it as 1 and calculate the gain ratio for that one. Similarly, calculate the uh, gain ratio for the attribute project. Okay, guys. So here we got gain ratio is 0. Now you calculate for the project. So in project also find how many power we have yes and no two categories identify pass and fail and the total compute the entropy so entropy is already we have shown here how to compute the entropy the same procedure compute the gain for this project and then you identify the split ratio okay so split ratio for this is 0 0.97 okay and gain ratio is 0 0.26 how do we compute uh, gain ratio gain ratio is gain divided by the uh, gain divided by entropy okay so you will get the gain ratio similarly calculate for the other attribute so now for seminar also we have calculated the gain and split ratio after finding the gain and split ratio for seminar also in the same procedure list out their uh, list out the attributes and their gain ratios now observe here which is having the maximum gain in this we have to see assessment 0.468 assignment 0 and project we have 0 0.25 and seminar we have 0 0.410 so here which is having maximum gain means assessment has the maximum gain so this will be chosen as our root node that is the best splitting point so now we try to construct the tree when you construct the tree you can see that assessment on good it is yielding a leaf node your all the instances are pass and for poor all the instances are fail but for average you have the combination of both pass and fail okay so here for this average list out all the instances for the average and then we should go for the second iteration because it includes the combination of both pass and fail the leaf nodes directly it is not yielding the leaf nodes so to solve that again what we should do again go for the second iteration from the sample data set for the average for the average for identify how many uh, pass and fail are there in the result attribute in this we have two fails and one pass so this is our subtree what we have got now for this subtree you have to construct the for this subtree you have to identify the entropy now here how many pass are there one pass and two fails are there compute the entropy for this two comma pass is one fail is two so find the entropy for one comma two okay guys so if you compute the entropy for one comma two you will get it as okay so you will get entropy as 0.918 so for this 1 comma 2 for this uh, subset we are constructing the entropy okay now uh, similarly compute the entropy for the assignment and uh, find the gain for this one so gain is 0.259 and split ratio is 0.918 and compute the gain ratio that is uh, this one uh, information gain divided by uh, this uh, gain ratio so uh, sorry split ratio so what is the information gain we have 0 0.29 so this gain ratio we are supposed to substitute 0 0.29 0 0.252 sorry this is 0 0.252 this gain we should substitute sorry something got stuck okay so what is the gain ratio we got gain ratio is 0 0.274 next similarly calculate for project and for the project also we have identified the instances that is yes and no attributes how many pass 1 0 and fail compute the entropy of this one then compute the split ratio and compute the gain ratio so you will get it as one okay guys so gain split ratio and gain ratio we have to compute then for the seminar similarly compute the gain ratio split ratio and the gain ratio okay gain 
what is the gain here 0.918 minus 0 so how we got this 0.918 so that is the gain is equal to entropy of the subtree what we computed this 0.918 is the entropy of the subtree what we have computed that is so i will show you where we have got that one see here entropy of 1 comma 2 entropy of 1 comma 2 is 0.918 with this entropy you have to subtract the entropy of each of the attribute like assignment seminar or project so this is our subtree entropy from this only we have to do the subtraction to in order to find the gain so compute the gain for all the attributes again you list it out that is the attributes we have assignment project and seminar so in this which is having the uh, maximum gain assignment you have 0.275 project is one seminar is one so here in this which is the maximum gain we have to choose now here it is you you have a tie you can choose either project or seminar so if i choose project as a subtree here my node here see here this is the tree decision tree what we have constructed by considering the project as a splitting node here okay guys so by cons considering the project so we got the subtree like this so project on s the result is pass and on no the result is fail okay or else the other option or if i choose seminar as my next uh, node to be expanded for pruning so for seminar the assessment good already we have drawn this for this only now we computed the entropy so seminar on good you will get pass and for poor you will get fail all the instances will give either pass or they will give the fail so this is how we compute the uh, decision tree using c4.5 algorithm please refer to my uh, solved example problems in the previous videos thank you